I was on Dr. YouTube doing research on vitamin D and I came across this comment. He says his doctor was appalled at the amount of vitamin D he was taking. Then he says a patient shouldn't be educating their doctor on health. A patient shouldn't know more about the doctor. Okay, let's break this down. Keeping up with the latest research. Here's the thing. Yeah, I gotta take my hands out my pockets because I'm about to start talking with the hands. They aren't obligated to do so. I mean, we would all like for, who wouldn't want their doctor to be up on the latest research? It just ain't their job. Now, of course, don't get me wrong. Some doctors go out of their way to make sure they are up on the latest and the greatest. But a lot of doctors are like us, regular people who get stressed out at work and aren't necessarily concerned about being that proactive and serving their patients. The answer is 17 years. What is the question? Understanding time lags and translational research. So there's a system at play here that we have to understand. This is an article that makes an attempt at quantifying the time between discovery and implementation. The time between the basic science being done on a new condition to the time a solution is being implemented and beneficial to a wide community. The time between the problem and the answer. This is called translation. There is a massive field of science that's dedicated to trying to put a timestamp on that beginning to end time. 17 years is like a popular average. However, the truth is that it varies greatly, give or take years. And the beginning to the end aren't all measured universally. Translation is set up in what we call gaps, the time between steps. For example, the time between discovery and clinical human trials. We can go deep here talking the intricacies of some steps, how some translation processes have more steps, how some have less steps, but that ain't the point of this video. By the end of this video, you're going to know why your doctor is so late to the new science part. The field of science that's dedicated to trying to put a time between that beginning to end, that translation, are doing so because they want it faster, just like everybody else. We want things snappy. 17 years is a long time to wait to be able to use a solution for a problem. They call the time spent in these gaps between steps lag. If you don't get anything out of this, take that. Your doctor is basically running on a lagged system. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'll take, take, take that back. America's entire health system is running on a lagged system. That brings us back to this comment. That comment was left under a video addressing the proper amount of vitamin D needed on a daily basis. The speakers in that video were referencing research like every other sentence. You could not click off that video without an answer. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait. You mean to tell me the person who made that comment took it upon himself to educate himself and was met with a solution from watching a three to four minute video? We gotta understand how big of a deal this is. He basically bypassed the entire system of translation in three to four minutes. When we don't make that effort to educate ourselves, we unknowingly are subject to that super slow 17 year average system of translation, waiting that long for a solution. And you wanna know the best part about all of this? The best part is that you're doing it right now. You're educating yourself right now. See, we don't have to be the people that actually go out and read the research. That's boring. Sometimes you can just tap into people who are devoted to reading the research, doing the work, and empowering their community by sharing that information. These are your health podcasters, your health book authors, health YouTubers, people who may not necessarily have an MD behind their name, but are devoted to regarding the research and are completely free of medical time lags. Thankfully, one of the speakers in that video was an MD, so all hope is not lost. Hey, leave a like on your way out. I'm gonna get up out your way.